A widely debated topic in the camping community is when's the perfect time to go camping, and everybody seems to have a different answer. This is partly because of personal preferences, and everyone has their own list of pros and cons for camping in specific seasons. But how do you narrow it all down? Well, fear not, because we're going to help you do that. Today, we'll be talking about the perfect times to go camping during the year and why. First up, summer, a technicality. Here's the thing, when camping season may start for you depends entirely on where you live. People who live under the sun pretty much the whole year boast that summer is the best season to camp in. Take a few states in the USA, for example. Florida, Texas, Arizona, etc. keep their campgrounds open all year because their winters are warmer and people there prefer to camp in the summer. People who argue in favor of summer in terms of when's the best time to set camp often have their own reasons. One of the biggest appeals of this camping season is that the weather is more often than not warm and dry. No one likes to be stuck in a snowstorm on a camping trip. However, chances are that everyone around you also preferred going on a camping trip in the summer because of these very reasons. And now you're stuck on a crowded campsite when all you wanted was a break from people and civilization. Now, summer camping and how to do it. If you've decided upon summertime is the time for your camping trip, you have to be sure to consider the kind of heat that you deal with in your locale. Remember to plan in advance and make your reservations in time. Then, when time comes, arrive early, especially if you've booked for the weekend, or with kids, since they're often picky and need time to fully settle on the site. Be sure to bring enough sunscreen, since sunburns are fairly common. Remember to get the big tent if you're going to camp as a family. Get one with a swinging door and rooms if need be. Remember to keep your insecticides with you and pack lightly. Next, winter camping, an unconventional choice. So you're a bit of a daredevil and crave a sense of adventure? Well, maybe winter camping is a good fit for you. Now remember, this isn't a path everyone chooses, because there are a fair few cons to camping in winter, but there are a lot of benefits to camping when it's chilly. Let us take you through some. Now, some pros of winter camping. We've discussed this benefit of winter camping before. You know how we talked about overcrowding at the campsites in summer? Well, here's the thing. Not many people choose to camp in winter, so you may have the site very much to your Yourself. This also has the added pro of giving you some much needed isolation and silence, if that's what you're seeking. And because there'll be no one there, the campsite will be very clean. If one of your goals for camping is to see wild animals, winter camping will prove to be better at fulfilling that. The feeling of freedom that you get with winter camping is pretty much unbeatable, some say. And if you're getting tired of your same old camping routine and want to try something new, why not try a more exciting version of camping? Another unbeatable pro is no mosquitoes or equivalent insects. Many people use winter camping as a meditative method. It can help them unwind from their stress-filled existences and figure out what they truly desire out of life and how to go get it. And now, cons of winter camping. And we're finally going to discuss why you won't find many people on the campsite with you during a winter camping trip. For one, it's much less comfortable than camping in the summer heat, especially if you live in an area with harsh winters. In fact, camping in an actual tent would pretty much be impossible if you live in areas with heavy snowfall and harsh winter winds. All that would of course only be possible if you manage to find a camping ground that's open during winters, since most aren't. And say you do decide to, you will need to spend an insane amount of money on heating to stay alive. Not just for you, but bringing kids to winter camping is a risk that ultimately does not seem worth taking. If your camping trip is going to be a family affair, and you wanted to socialize and make connections, you probably won't be able to do that. Some camping activities that are very easily possible in the summers may not even be worth considering. And while yes, you may see more wild animals, they can very much become a problem if you're inexperienced. Getting trapped in a snowstorm or a blizzard is always a possibility, even if you keep a tight check on the weather forecast. You'd need much more luggage as well, since staying warm can be a bit of a challenge. The constant terror of the weather can also be responsible for creating a generally unpleasant environment. And worst of all, there would be no time or chance to explore anything. You wouldn't be able to move out of the camper, and if you were, you wouldn't be able to get too far considering the temperature. And if you do, you probably won't be able to cross the roads since they might be blocked for the winter. Can you imagine the showers you might need to take without a warming system in the winter chill? The next considerable option, spring? One of the most popular options is probably 
probably camping during the spring. After all, it's basically ideal weather. Flowers bloom during springtime, trees begin to sprout new leaves, and eventually, life is breathed into nature around us. Let's talk about spring camping as a potential option and the pros and cons of camping during this season. Now some pros of spring camping. Spring is often known as the ideal weather. The weather isn't as harshly cold as during proper winter, and definitely a bit less warm than summer. This lets people who don't really want to commit to extremes enjoy a more primitive camping style, one that is less oppressive in terms of temperature levels and allows for increased physical activity. As we mentioned, the view is magical if you're looking for a fairy tale esque adventure and hunting is way easier. And since it's not super summery yet, you can still enjoy an uncrowded campsite if isolation from civilization is what you're after. And cons of spring camping. We're going to be honest, there's not a lot of cons to camping in springtime, which makes it a very ideal season to camp in. But if we were to nitpick, the chances of you catching a cold are increased during your stay outdoors. Also, allergies may hinder you if you have any. And if you're particularly sensitive to lower temperatures, maybe spring camping isn't for you. Now, a trusted favorite, autumn camping. Autumn, or fall, is a beloved and delightful time for camping. The refreshing weather with its delightfully warm colors is the perfect choice as far as many campers are concerned. During autumn, your own backyard can be an ideal camping spot. The cold air isn't bitey and harsh yet, and the warmth isn't suffocating. Also, the most amount of campsites are open at this time, which is further proof of how many people prefer camping during fall season. Hanging outdoors is less of a chore and more of a pleasure, but maybe it's not all fun and games? Let's check out the pros and cons for camping in autumn. Let's look at the pros of autumn camping. As we mentioned, the fall weather is pretty much unbeatable when it comes to weather. And yes, maybe it's not as hot as it would be during summer, but with a few cozy jumpers and an adequate fireplace, you won't even notice a difference. All this said, do get a sleeping bag for yourself and make sure it's a warm one. The scenery for fall camping may be even prettier than that for summer or spring camping. If you prioritize sightseeing on your camping trips, fall's beautiful colors won't disappoint in that regard. The warm tones are sure to make you feel right at home, even outdoors. Autumn camping is also undeniably the best for strenuous physical activity, like say, hiking, canoeing, bicycling, etc. This means the weather is also great for fishing, so be sure to pack your fishing gear. It's very understandable why so many campers swear by fall camping. Now the cons for autumn camping. And when it comes to discussing the cons of autumn camping, you can be sure that there are very few to none that you need to account for. The weather can, at times, be unpredictable, but you can avoid that by using weather forecasts. And that's it for this video. Let us know your thoughts on seasonal camping in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching the video, be sure to leave a like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.